the greetings. This is the first video we're going to do um, since I got back to Grenada. We, we haven't been doing videos for a couple of weeks because I was so busy in New York. I want to thank all the people who showed up in the seminars. Although some people could not get in because they were very packed, but we're going to have some more seminars soon, so I hope that we can accommodate lots of people. So these seminars were a success, and the people who came to see me, I want to thank everybody who came in. Wonderful. I hope that all the people who came is doing better. Yeah? Secondly, we had a meeting with Dr. Kefu from the School of Medicine, um, SGU, and with some medical students who wanted to learn about alternative medicine, what we call traditional medicine, herbs, and they were very impressed, and we are hoping to work with these doctors in Grenada here, in medical school, and we are hoping to do some classes in the School of Medicine to teach these medical students about herbs and diet and nutrition. And um, we have a lot of them that are looking at our videos, so I want to thank Dr. Kefu for having me, and I want, to, uh, I want us to explore things together. All right, wonderful. Now today we're going to do a video on uh, cancer. And I'm going to show you some stuff that you can do if you know that anybody who has cancer, man. Try to accommodate these people by giving them certain secrets. Well, not secrets anymore. I'll tell you what it is. All right? Now, the first thing we're going to, we're going to have here, we have some bentonite clay. And lots of people know where bentonite clay comes from, come from, the, from the volcanoes, yeah? We're going to teach you how to use it properly. It gets rid of too much too. All right? Then we have apple. We have... Turmeric, we have ginger, and remember that ginger alkalines the blood, the cucumbers, huh? Don't forget, keep the pH a little higher. And we have some lime with the skin on. And when we juice them, all these these fruits and vegetables, uh, and these, uh, these fruits and herbs, sorry, we have them like this here in the powder form when they grind them up. And then you can use them as a tea also to help the body to heal, all right? And then we have some coconut water. We're going to show you how to use them together. Wonderful. All right, now. Cancer bombarding Grenada. And we saw lots of people who had cancer when I was in New York, right? And cancer is a metabolic disease that affects the blood and the lymph system, causes processed food, denatured food, synthetic drugs, chemicals, preservative and coloring, and carcinogens in the foods. And also, cancer could be caused by environmental pollution, and also a what we call an inherited predisposition. If your mother, father had it, but the latter part of it, you can make a detour and eat a good sound diet, which we will teach you today, and then you can avoid getting cancer. Now, when you eat all these foods, these processed and denatured foods, synthetic drug and chemicals in the food. All these byproducts and these toxins build up in your system, in your body, because you don't clean your system up. And then once they build up, they become to a high, they come a high, dangerous level in the system, and then your blood and your lymph have no recourse than to turn these toxins and byproducts into tumors and cancers. And that is the main cause of it. In nothing that God put here on the earth for us to use as herbs cause cancer. That's the main cause by products that accumulate in your body because bad eating habits, lots of meat and eggs. We will teach you now how to balance them so you can repair your cancer because you can never ever fix cancer with chemotherapy. You don't fix it. It's toxic to the, to the body and to the organs. Yeah? Right. So we're going to juice some of these things, yeah? <laughs> With a good diet, we will teach you what the diet is. So I do. Don't forget ginger, turmeric, lime with the skin on, one apple, or you could use a cucumber too, and you can put some garlic if you like. All right, and then you put a coconut water, coconut water right here, and you mix them together. Hmm. Ah 
the ginger. Bless you. And then you take one teaspoon of the bentonite clay. The bentonite clay, one teaspoon of the bentonite clay, and you do that for me three cups per day. When you have cancer doing this here now, your diet has to be sunk. So, no meat, no flesh food now. We call it flesh foods. No flesh food, no eggs, no dairy. And in order for you to detoxify the amount of heavy proteins you have in your diet, you have to go on a lightly steamed vegetable diet. And the vegetable protein. And what that does, it takes time to detoxify all the heavy protein that you accumulated in your body over the years. And your healing process will start to begin. Then you're doing what? 50% whole grains. 25% beans. Don't forget. 50% whole grains. 25% beans. 80% green leafy things. 5% fruits. Hmm? And 5% five, and five or 10% of the sea vegetables like sea moss and duds and sumac, because they're all good for cancers. And the herbs now, mark them down now. Echinacea, red clover, chaparral, gryfolia, Siberian or American ginseng, cascara sagrada. If you want to keep the system moving ways out because of bad bowel health and constipation. Dandelion root. To do what? To detoxify the liver. And prevent or remove environmental toxin from the liver. Cleavers. To keep the blood and the lymph system clean. Hmm? Sheep sorrow. Venus tri fly trap. Venus fly trap that get into the cancer cells and start killing them. And all these herbs should be mixed together and taken out a tea, one teaspoon to one cup of hot water and you cover it for five minutes and you strain and drink three cups per day, every day. And use all these drinks here. If you have cancer, if you want to prevent cancer, you can do that too. But while you're doing all these things and all the herbs, the herbs are the ginger, is helping this herb is helping to detoxify all the heavy meat products that build up in your system and get rid of it and then the healing process starts right away and then you will see a tumor start to shrink and you will see that your liver respond to you because cancer could be repaired once you are balanced and once you have the blood in balance and the blood pH at 7.5, 7.45. And then you will see for a fact that all the things that Jehovah God put on the earth for us to use for healing will take place. Give Jehovah the glory. And we're having some, we're doing some videos now in studios with our cameras. And we will learn some more things. Because what? Each one teach one and knowledge is power. And we are all our brothers and sisters keeper. Give Jehovah God the glory. Bless him. Wonderful.